Hello. This is to introduce myself. I am Professor Arag Hyderabad from the Department of Commerce, Karnataka City, Dharwad. I am very happy to associate myself with this particular program of RCU. There are many topics were given to me by the chairperson of the department, Professor S. Alasagi. I took the interest in exposing you to a new dynamic field called as a econometrics. Of course, statistical in nature, but would like to introduce this subject to you to researchers in commerce and management who often lack uh, idea of uh, this particular discipline, emergent discipline. I can say honestly that the research of, of uh, our uh, students, including the faculty, most of the times happens to be descriptive in nature. Descriptive research is one which just describes things as they are and lacks analytical content. That means there would be no hypothesis, no application of tools, no testing, no inferences. Hmm. That is just analytical uh, research. So, as a result of that, I find our researchers getting their getting their works published in paid journals or uh, Zabners without doing any peer review, etc. But however, quality publications involve applications of uh, econometrics. And I assure you that it, 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 it will be very difficult to go through quality publications in uh, international journals as well as in uh, journals of report in India. As, for example, if you go through the Journal of Applied Finance brought by ICFA, the ICFA Journal of Applied Finance, you find that almost all the articles incorporating this econometrics. So naturally, you come across words like uh, arch model, garch model, something like uh, autocorrelation or multicollinearity, heterosedasticity, homosedasticity, dummy variable, so many concepts. And uh, our researchers, commerce <coughs> and management, fail to comprehend the research publications. So the idea is to take you into this subject, econometrics, what it is, how it works, 
what are the its uh, basic features applications classification etc etc i am not going to dwell in detail on various tools like regression analysis which is nothing but econometrics only or a subject called as a financial econometrics and objective is to introduce you this concept called as econometrics and i would like to share i would like to share uh, some of the uh, points that i have made on this particular subject the question is what is economics is it a study of economics is it a branch of economics so just because it is econometrics is it just an extension of economics economics in what several theories several propositions and we need to provide empirical evidence to such theories research is nothing but proving and disproving a particular theory or hypothesis thesis is this thesis hypothesis hypothesized i assume a particular relationship and i try to apply to test to prove what i have assumed something like i assume that m com is a better course than m b a mere statement of this st mere statement of this doesn't solve the problem the problem is i must prove to the world at large that m com course is better than other m b a course something like this so econometrics involves application of statistics to the branch of economics so as to provide empirical evidence empirical validity to the economic theory so we have several definitions of the term econometrics one or two i would like to highlight here econometrics the result of certain of a certain outlook on the role of economics consists of application of mathematical statistics to economic data to lend empirical support to the models constructed we build models model is a replica of the proposed solution or answer mathematical models are built and mathematical models must be tested as for example what determines the interest rate in a country something what happens to interest rate whether interest rates increase or rise what are the determinants so i may propose a several right several hypotheses or oh, i may hypothesize that interest rate what interest rate 
is determined by the level of uh, NPAs, level of uh, lending resources of a bank, or level of uh, type of uh, deposits of a bank and the uh, I may have with us. So a bank which accepts more of a fixed deposit will charge more compared to a bank which have more of current funds and SV account balances. Right. Similarly, the profitability of the bank, the profitable bank then set a lower rate. Hypothesis compared to a bank which incurs losses. So models are constructed by mathematical economics to obtain numerical results. So what is econometrics? Econometrics is a process of testing the economic theory with the help of a mathematical statistics. We have other definitions. Economics, the result of a certain outlook on the role of economics, the same is repeated. Economics may be defined as a social science in which the tools of economic theory economic theory are applied to the analysis of economic phenomena in which the tools of economic theory mathematics and statistical inference are applied to the analysis of economic phenomena any phenomena underlying phenomena as for example, relationship between interest rates and amount borrowed. Right? The over the interest rate, individuals borrow, company borrows more. Whereas higher interest rate reduces the level of bank credit. So what determines bank credit? So you may say that bank credit is a function of a main just rates. That's one of the assumptions. So we try to prove or disprove this particular statement. And that is what is called as an econometrics. Gujarati has this to say, Gujarati, Damodaran, and others, they have a book on econometrics, very simply simple book and the introductory book, very popular. The first time reader can go through this particular a book. In fact, our researchers must buy this kind of uh, book. He has his own way of defining and he defines economic tricks as in a malagama of economic theory, mathematical economics, economic statistics, and the mathematical statistics and amalgama, a combination of these four disciplines constitute econometrics. Mathematical economic theory, mathematical economics, economic statistics and mathematical statistics. And he goes on to explain all these four concepts to make the concept more understandable. 
Economic theory, te any theory for that matter, a theory is a confirmed hypothesis. Something. What is theory? Theory is a confirmed hypothesis. It is a statement which underlies a particular phenomena. So, higher hypothesis, hypothesis, right? Uh, I, I hypothesize a particular relationship, and if I can prove that, that becomes a theory, so a theory is a confirmed hypothesis, we call it as. So, we say in case of law of demand. No. Demand quantity demanded of a product is a function of a, its a price. An increase or decrease in price, increase or, or decreases the quantity demanded. People buy more, the people buy more at lower prices than at higher prices. So this is a theory. You can prove that it is true that people buy more at lower prices than at higher prices. Or something like dividends in a company. Companies pay dividend when profitability exists or when profitability isn't. So, higher the profitability, higher would be the dividend payment. All other things remaining constant. So, I may hypothesize that profitable companies pay more dividend. More profitable companies pay more dividend. So this is the statement or hypothesis that are mostly qualitative in nature. It is the job of econometrics, econometrician to provide such numerical estimates. Stated differently, econometrics gives empirical content to most economic theory. The job is not over of a researcher with mere, mere, um, mere identification of hypotheses, mere, mere statement of a hypothesis. Right. The hypothesis must be measurable. Follow me. So, what we do in um, econometrics, right? We build models, mathematical models. We explain the nature of relationship in the form of a econometr uh, econometrics model or called as a mathematical model. I hypothesize a relationship with dividend and profitability. So I put across that dividend, which is nothing but a dependent variable, y, depends on an independent variable profitability called as x variable. So y is a function of x. So that is what all about econometrics. Econometrics gives empirical content to most economic theory. Once models are built, I have to apply economic statistics. That is data, necessary data I must collect. Data, primary, secondary, or even we have a, our own classification called as time series data, cross-sectional data, pooled data, and the more important one, the panel data. 
when economic statistics is mainly concerned with collecting, processing and presenting economic data in the form of charts and tables. These are the jobs of economic statistician. Finally, mathematical statistics provides many tools to test economic theory empirically. So my theory, my hypothesis is that dividend a function of a profitability. I have dividends. Companies with higher profits pay higher dividends. And companies with lower profits pay lower dividends. I have to view a mathematical backing, mathematical justification to this particular hypothesis and I must tell the world at large that this is the reality, this statement is a significant statement which, which, which can be tested by any researcher in the world. That is what econometrics subject which which helps you in improving your quality of publications and research as well as in your theoretical explanation. So it is an amalgam of economic theory, mathematical statistics, mathematical economics, economic statistics and uh, mathematical statistics. I may explain the methodology similarly. This is our concept and now methodology process of uh, econometrics process of econometrics. Process means how, how does it work, econometrics? How a researcher in commerce can incorporate econometrics? Where does it fit? Is research work? These are some of the queries that you may have to answer. Where do you fit in this subject. Remember, econometrics enhances quality of your research work, quality of your publications, wide publicity to your research work, and and giving you a, a kind of satisfaction that you have contributed to the knowledge base, the stock of uh, knowledge that is there, the theories that are there. So dividends, a function of profitability. Profitable companies pay dividends than non-profitable. So, just one factor you, you have taken. Of course, there are other determinants of a dividend. But basic determinants, basic determinant is the profitability. So, you have to state your hypothesis and test this hypothesis by collecting suitable research data. So the process of econometrics involves all these six to seven steps. Statement of theory or hypothesis specification of a mathematical model of the theory. And that is the next step. Specification of the statistical or econometric model. 
the third one, obtain the data, the most important one, because model testing is not possible without required data. Estimation of the parameters of the econometric model, the values of the parameters that you propose, then the null hypothesis is tested. Then the results are used to predict the future phenomena. Profits determine dividends, higher profits, higher dividends. So a company pays 10 rupees when profits are 50 rupees. If I prove like this, so what happens to profit dividends if profits increase to 70? So that is the forecasting of prediction that we do. Then using the model for control of policy purpose, that is at the government level. Government being a policy maker uses extensional econometrics, those econometrics lend support to the government actions. The first step involves, oh, I just take a small time, little time, I will not go through in detail. I told you any research, good research begins with a statement of your hypothesis, that is the intention behind your research, what you want to do, what you want to prove, uh, or what you want to disprove, right? So I want to prove that hmm, the, the profitable company becomes a target company in mergers. In mergers, companies are being acquired. A acquires B. Now, which type of company is being acquired? A always looks for a profitable company. So, A acquires B because B is a profitable. That is one way of explaining. So, I may again hypothesize many things here. So the researcher is required to state the underlying theory of his work. That is what he wants to prove or disprove. The mm, second step involves specification of the mathematical model of the relationship of the mathematical models. So why model? What is this model? Right. And what happens if I don't develop models? Model is is a, is a desired result that I would like from my research. I have my own hypothesis and I want to prove my hypothesis to the world at large or disprove and develop the knowledge. So I build my mathematical model I hypothesize the relationship being profitable is very risky phenomena because 
a profitable company becomes a takeover target. Size of the company, I may advertise, smaller the company, more likely to be acquired by others. So small company is a zip takeover target, like a small prey, small prey, small rabbit, small, uh, anything small, small uh, bird for example, or small elephant for example, for small horse, anything small is at risk. Even children also we take care, extra take, extra care because they are at risk. So small company is an easy takeover target. Small and profitable. So two factors. Again, it becomes a takeover target. I show, I show for others. Hmm. So econometrics involves developing mathematical model. Hmm. And the meaning of the term model is a simply a set of mathematical equations. As for example, I have said. The dividend is a function of profitability, quantity demanded is a function of price. So I have a dependent variable, an independent variable, and I try to observe nature of relationship between dependent and independent. What happens to Y? If x changes, so y depends on x. So y is a dependent variable and x is a, an independent variable. And there are parameters. It's a simple regression model where we have beta 1 and beta 2. We'll explaining this at a later stage. Beta 1 is an inter intercept, constant term, whereas beta 2 is a slope. The model, if the model has only one equation, it is called a single equation model. That is why is a function of only x. That is, if it has more than one equation, it is known as a multiple equation model. That is, multiple regression analysis MRA. That is, y is a function of x1, x2, x3, x4. So, I would like to prove to the world that y has its own determinants. The variable appearing on the left hand side of the equality sign is called as a dependent variable and variable on the right hand side called independent or explanatory variable. So this is the mathematical model y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 into x. But this is only mathematical model. We are interested in Econometrics model. Econometrics model. <coughs> well, why was this y is equal to beta one plus beta two x is a is a, is an exact model or a deterministic model where we hypothesize that y depends only on x, but it is not so. In reality, many other variables influence it. Why? Dividends 
don't depend only on profitability. Dividend depends upon besides profitability, the size of the firm, age of the firm, more importantly, cash flow, because dividend is paid out of cash, cash flow, the type of shareholders, small shareholders, rich shareholders, large shareholders, small shareholders expect a dividend, whereas the rich shareholders, otherwise, tax rates on dividends, so many other factors. But however, elaborating all these factors makes modern very cumbersome. And enhances the risk of uh, multi collinearity, etc. So, so, what we do in uh, our econometrics, we put all those variables which also influence Y under a term called as error term disturbance term or a stochastic term. So I rewrite my econometric model, mathematical model into an econometric model where I add U that is a random term or a stochastic term. Stochastic because it has no mean but has its own variance because I can't expect any return from uh, this factor so its mean is always zero or was negative one positive they get eliminated so mean becomes zero but variance it's it, it has its own variance. So you known as a disturbance or a term is a random variable that has well-defined probabilistic properties. The disturbance term, you may well represent all those factors that affect consumption but are not taken into account explicitly. The above equation is an example of econometric model. So, understand the difference between mathematical model and economic model. Mathematical model is an exact model where y always depends on x. Whereas here, though we hypothesize the relationship between y and x, but we do take the influence of all, all other factors under a term called as disturbance term. And this is a regression model which is the major concern of uh, econometrics. After building the model, the model need to be tested. And for this purpose, the researcher needs to collect data. This needs uh, no further explanation as such. I want to compute the parameters that I have taken in econometrics. Parameters and the variables, these are the concepts that we come across. Variables are the factors that influence Y. Whereas the extent of influence is given by these beta coefficients. So we put them as a parameters, mathematical parameters. So beta 1 is a, is a constant. Of course, beta 1 can also be zero in case if regression is run through the horizon. 
otherwise it will have a minimum value then beta 2 beta 2 is a measure of slow sensitivity responsiveness in in financial economics we apply this model in capitalist expressive model we apply this we call this as a single factor model right so the returns on a stock is a combination of uh, some fixed return minimum return basic return plus the return given by its beta coefficient and market return so something like this to estimate economic model data is required there are various types of data and sources from which this data are obtained in subsequent slides an explanation is given the data so collected is used to test or estimate the parameters of the model the numerical estimates of the parameters give empirical content and the technique of regression analysis is the main tool used to obtain the estimates so econometrics basically involves use of regression analysis which studies regression analysis studies the extent of influence of one on the other so we try to use this uh, for proving or disproving the theory and for the purpose of estimating the future phenomena the results must be tested statistically in econometrics otherwise they have no value no validity the entire process becomes meaningless unless we the we test our hypothesis null hypothesis has to be tested we have several techniques confidence interval t distribution we have f distribution chi score or another test and so many other tests so we want to prove the nature of relationship why is independent why depends on x something so the model hmm, needs to be suitably tested so we have to develop suitable criteria to find out whether estimates obtained are in accord with the expectations of the theory that is being tested such confirmation or reputation of economic theories on the basis of sample evidence is based on a branch of statistical theory known as statistical inference
the results of the model don't end with the testing. They go behind the model built must be used for the purpose of estimating the future values of a particular phenomena. If the chosen model does not refute the hypothesis or theory under consideration, we may use it to predict the future value of the dependent or forecast variable y on the basis of the known or expected value of the explanatory or predictor variable x on the basis of the variable x. As for example, I have said y being dividends, dividends depend on profitability of 20, 10 rupees dividend out of 50. So what happens if dividend increase, profits increase to 100 rupees? Or if firm has earned only 20 rupees profitability? So we hypothesize, we estimate the value of y to the expected future value of y on the basis of expected future value of uh, the variable x. The econometrics also involves using this data or inferences for policy purposes. Government being a big user of uh, econometrics, econometrics results are being used to develop new policies, adopt existing policies. Similarly, at the in organizational level, like at a bank level or at corporate level, we do come across this policy making. Then even at the stock market level, we do come across. the policy purposes, the stock actions, say we might use this data to develop new policy or guidelines. So this is all about the steps involved in econometrics. This is this is not the end of econometrics introduction. I would like to give the classification of econometrics. There are different ways of classifying econometrics. Of course, in the modern book, this is the classification given. Theoretical econometrics, applied econometrics. Theoretical econometrics is concerned with the, the development of appropriate methods for measurement of economic relationship specified by econometrics models. Whereas the applied econometrics, applied finance, applied side of the economics is the application of uh, these theoretical econometrics models to prove theories of economics. The tools of theoretical econometrics are used to study some special fields of economics and business. As for example, financial econometrics can be called as an applied econometrics. So one way of classifying theoretical econometrics, applied econometrics, 
financial econometrics we do have books on financial econometrics and i can say non financial econometrics financial econometrics means more related to financial data more related to the corporate corporate entities like stock market and etc whereas other than this corporates or financial data we may call it is a non financial econometrics for example population is a non financial data exports import quantities of imports and exports unemployment for example and non financial data so we have financial econometrics and other branches of econometrics before we conclude before we conclude on on this introductory talk let me explain these concepts of uh, data types of data which we rarely read in our uh, research we normally classify our research data into primary and secondary what is collected directly as a primary data and what is collected through publications we call it as a we call it as a secondary data but however in mm, econometrics we have this classification and generally we come across in quality publications in that the work is based on time series data cross sectional data or sometimes called as a panel data so researchers must decide what kind of uh, data that they are going to use because econometrics differs from one data source to another data source time series data econometrics we do have we do have panel data econometrics time series data is a simple concept time series we are all aware being statistical students we are aware time series time series is nothing but a collection of data over a period of time on a certain variable like gdp of india for 10 years 20 years is a time series data
not only gdp or any other any other uh, collection can be called as a time series it, it is an arrangement of data over a period of time as for example passing percentage of mcom students for last 10 years in karnataka university tharwad is a time series data why because it is data of over a certain period of time of a particular factor for example com results population of a country gdp of a country stock prices for that matter the best time series data is stock prices price of lnt stock for the last 10 years or 10 months or 10 days becomes a time series data if uh, to this price of uh, if lnt larsen to brew if i add other construction components and find price of the stock for a particular point of time it becomes a cross section null data so cross sectional data are data of one or more variables collected at the same point in time same point in time such as the census of government of india every 10 years so you becomes the cross sectional data if i in, in, com in companies if i find the prices of uh, 10 companies 10 construction companies for a day for a particular point of time then it becomes a cross-sectional data it is across not single company more than one company what is happening how are how construction companies are performed or how they performed a study or how bank stocks performed a study so 10 bank stocks yesterday's price it's the huh? series of time series not one 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 bank 10 banks for a certain point of time then comes the pooled data I want to know the performance of 10 companies share price performance of 10 companies over 10 years or 5 years or 100 days that becomes pooled data it's a pooling of a time series and cross sectional data in pooled or combined data are elements of both time series and cross section data as for example data on consumer price index for a country over a period of time say is a time series data where is the data on consumer price index for several countries for a single year or cross sectional data so i combine so the data that you observe is 
Consumer Price Index of India along with other countries over a certain period of time. So you have country-wise time series, but there is a cross-section compared to data. So that becomes the pooled data. So researchers do say that we ours is a pooled data or cross-sectional data or time series data. The last one, it is very exhaustive, a special type of pooled data is called as a panel data. I hope all researchers are aware of this concept called as a panel data. A bit confusing one. We do develop this panel data. It's, it's a special type of a pooled data. As for example, I would I, I would like to study the determinants of the dividend of a Sensex companies or Nifty 50 companies or BSC 500 companies. As I select BSC 500 companies, 500 companies for 10 years. So, 500 companies data for 10 years. So, each year I will be collecting 500 companies data, but this data is collected for 10 years and several variables are being considered. I am testing the relationship between dividend and other determinants. So I take dividend as a, as a dependent variable. Amount of dividend paid, and this is being compared with profitability, cash flow, size of the company, the type of shareholder, uh, the debt capital in the company, and every high leverage company pays less dividend. So 500 companies, 10 years, 10 variables. So vertically, horizontally, each year I collect 500 companies data on 10 variables. So 10 variables, 500 companies, but for 10 years. So it becomes a gigantic cross-section and pooled data. So it's, it's called as a panel data. So we should know what type of data that we are using. Whether it is a time series data, cross-section data, pooled data or panel data. Most of the research employs a panel data. But we don't recognize that we are using panel data. And we simply end up saying that it is a secondary data. Though secondary, but the concept is the panel data. An example is given by this slide. In a research work carried out by Greenfield, we observe the data on real investment, real value of the firm, and real capital stock of four US companies, namely, so four variables, real investment, real value of the firm, real capital stock, so three variables, of four US companies, General Motors, General Electric, US Steel, Western House, for the period 1935 to 
1944, 20 years later. So it is a case of final data. Since the data are for several companies collected over a number of years, this is a classic example of final data. The data may be collected from several sources as usual. The sources are unlimited. Internet is one of the sources. But however, most of uh, the financial data is uh, paid data, subscribed data. As for example, CMI, Center for Monitoring Indian, Indian Economy, CMI database, Proves data, as we call it as. It's a paid data, subscriber data. We have prime database, it's again paid one. So most of the times, the data involves expenditure on the part of the researchers. The data may be collected by a government agency, international agency like World Bank, a private organization, or an individual. The internet has literally revolutionized data gathering. I'm not going into details of uh, this econometrics. This is the introduction of the concept of econometrics. And econometrics involves extensive use of uh, regression analysis. We have simple regression analysis where only one factor is considered and multiple regression analysis that is two factor model, three factor model, four factor model and x number of models. Then I request you to go through concepts like dummy variable, multicollinearity, heteroselasticity, homoselasticity, autocorrelation. Simple book of uh, simple book of uh, written simple book written by Ramodar Gujarati and others. It is publication of a uh, micro hill is recommended for all researchers in commerce and economics. So an extension reading is a sure way of uh, sure way of improving your publications as well as as well as research. So I'm very thankful to Rasigi and other staff members at RCU for giving me this opportunity and speak few words on a concept called as econometrics. I wish researchers all the success. Thank you.